Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be showing you how to sublimate this fun water bottle. This is a water bottle from Heat Transfer Warehouse. It's a sublimation blank. We're going to be using the SG500 to print our sublimation transfer and we're going to be sublimating it in the JTrans sublimation oven. All of this can be found at Heat Transfer Warehouse and I will have links to everything in the description below. You must use sublimation ink to create this project. Now I've already printed my image just to save us a little bit of time and I used Canva to create my printout. So I will show you how I did that. I'll flip over there and we'll walk you through this and then we'll come back and apply our transfer. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on custom size. I'm going to make an eight and a half by 11 canvas. That's how big my printer prints, but you could also just start with a blank letter. It's the same size. So I'm just gonna click on custom size. And again, I'm just gonna put in 11 by 8.5, make sure it's set on inches. And there you go. And now you can see I have an 11 inch wide by eight and a half inch blank canvas. So the first thing I'm going to do is click over here in the left and click uploads, upload media, device, and you're going to navigate to where the images are that you want to upload. So let's just grab this one for an example. I've already got my images in there. So there is another one of the images I'm going to use. So that's how you upload anything that you want to import yourself. If you want to use their images, you can just click over here. You can use different photos. For instance, I could bring this photo in and use that if I needed to or you can click on, um, they have all kinds of things. They have backgrounds here, so I could bring this background in. That would make a really cool tumbler. So you can use what they have there, but for today, we're just going to make our own image. So I'm going to, again, go back to my uploads where we uploaded this image. So the image that I wanna use is this one right here. And again, I just uploaded, went through upload media, picked it out, brought it in. I'm just going to click on it and that's going to put it on my canvas and it's going to let me resize it with these sizing handles. Now there is a difference if you click and drag it over here, it's going to fill up the whole canvas and then you don't have those handles to resize it. So if you don't have the handles, that's why. So again, you just wanna tap on it, click it, click it, and then you'll get the handles to resize it. Now I measured my tumbler and it needs to be about nine and a quarter wide by, and I decided I wanted it to be about four inches tall. You can do whatever size you want. So all I'm going to do is pull the sides out until I get it to about nine and a quarter, 9.2, there we go. And then I'm gonna pull this one and I'm gonna bring that down to about four inches. And I'm just gonna let it go a little bit over four. That's perfectly fine. So there's my image. Now I measured around the tumbler and for halfway around, it's about four inches. So what I'm going to do, just to give me a reference, I'm gonna go over here and click on elements. And I'm just gonna grab this first square. And again, I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller, but I want the important thing I wanna do is make this about four inches. And that's going to represent the four inches that I need to have an image on the front and on the back and be centered, all right? So I'm just gonna place this in about the center of this image. And if you're not sure where the center is, just click on it and you can see this middle bar, that's your center point. So just trying to line those up, that looks good. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to the uploads. I'm gonna grab this image. I'm gonna make it smaller. When I get it the size I want, I'm gonna click right up here and click duplicate. And now I have two of them. So this is about the halfway point, four inches. So I wanna get the middle of this image at the edge of this four inches. So about right there, see that, that line that shows up when that's in alignment, the pink dots. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. i keep moving it until it, it kind of snaps into place. So now I know that this is going to end up on the front of my tumbler and this is going to end up on the back and this is where the two sides will meet. So I can get rid of this piece, I don't need it. I'm just gonna click on it and click delete. And that's it, I just click download. As 
going to download this image and you can change the name of it right up here. You just click. So I'm going to put this um, water bottle and we're going to click download. All right, and you can see it downloaded right here. So I'm going to put show in finder. I'm on a Mac and I am just going to drag that to my desktop so that it'll be right there where my smart folder is. So here we are on my desktop. Here is the water bottle image that I just made. Here's my Sawgrass smart folder. All I have to do is click and drag and drop it into that smart folder and that opens up the print manager. That's it. It's as easy as that. So all I have to do now is choose, I'm going to choose metal and I can choose the paper I'm using. I'm using the text print R paper also available at heat transfer warehouse. You can change things around if you want. You can put preserve, uh, print manager performs layout. That's just going to make it save paper. I don't really care. I'm just going to leave it the way we had it. And then we're just going to click print. So for today's project, what we're going to be using is everything that you see here. I'm going to be using my paper trimmer to trim my image down. I've got some denatured alcohol. You can use rubbing alcohol, whatever you want to clean our blank. I've also got my heat transfer tape and a uh, heat transfer wrap, shrink wrap. And I have a piece of thread. I'm gonna show you a little trick with that and my heat gun. So the very first thing I'm going to do is cut my image down. And the only reason I'm showing this part is because I think if you don't have a paper trimmer, um, it is a great addition to your craft room for any craft really, but really for sublimation because you can get this really precise, really clean cuts on your images and you're not guessing it or trying to wing it with scissors. I don't know about you, but I am not a Great cutter. Never have been. Oops, let me, my oven is preheating back here, so we're just going to let that restart it. I'm going to cut this down, and I'm going to make sure that one image has all the way to the edge color. A little bit more. See what a little piece I was able to trim off with the trimmer? So that's what I really like about that. This side I'm not going to worry about. Okay, so once we've got our image cut down, I can get this out of our way. Now what we're going to do is clean our blank. I'm going to use, just squirt it with some denatured alcohol. Again, you can use rubbing alcohol, Windex, whatever you have works. Use a lint-free cloth and you just want to wipe this down. Get any oils, lotions, anything from your hand, dog hair, dust, lint. I'm going to take this lid off. Leave that off while we create our transfer. And now we need to apply our transfer. So I am first thing first, I want to make sure I get it right side up. Obviously my image is mirrored. I'm going to wrap it right around this section right in here. And I actually think I'm going to go up a little bit from this line here. You can sublimate this whole thing, but you can see I've got mine so that it will overlap easily. And I want to make it straight. I want to make sure that it is very snug around this tumbler or water bottle, whatever you want to call it. It's very snug and we are going to go ahead and give it a little bit of tape right along that seam just to make sure everything's tight. All right, now that we've got that snugly on there, I can't move it. It's not going to, or my, my tumbler's not going to twist inside of there. I'm going to show you a little trick that we're going to use. So I have a little piece of thread here. I don't know if you can see it, but I picked orange thinking it would show. So there, if you can see that piece of thread, I'm just going to lay that right over this. Just like so. I might even drop the top of it inside my tumbler just so that I don't accidentally lose track of it. So there we go. So it's going inside my tumbler and I've got it sticking out the bottom here. Now I'm going to take my shrink wrap and I'll place it over the bottle. There's my thread still. 
and we're just going to shrink wrap this right around this mug using a little bit of heat. So I've got my heat gun. I will link mine in the description below the video or something similar. I like this one because it's got a high and a low setting on it. So it you can use it without burning your fingers and it still works just as fine. So I'm just going to apply some heat. And we're going to let those shrink right against the tumbler. Just like so. All right, so we're all heated up. Let me flip the camera back up here. So we're all heated up and you can see here's my thread. Maybe you can't, but here's my thread sticking out of the top and sticking out of the bottom. That's going to help us remove the shrink wrap when we're done. So very, very cool. So I've got my oven already preheated. I've got it set for five minutes. It's on 195 Celsius. That's about 383 degrees Fahrenheit. And it has been preheating and counting down. It's going to go off here in just a second. So I'm just going to turn it off, turn it back on to start it over. And I'm going to put my tumbler in, set it down, and we're going to let that count down for five minutes minutes. So while we're letting that count down, I've grabbed some heat resistant gloves. This is going to be very hot when it's done. I also wanted to talk about the JP Trans sublimation oven. So what I really like about this is it has this really cool display, very easy to set. You just twist this knob, set the temperature, twist this knob to set the time. There's a hot air button on here and that will keep the air circulated to help regulate that temperature inside. I don't have to put a uh, oven thermometer in there. I don't have to kind of second guess if it's up to temperature or not. This was made for sublimation. This was not made for your kitchen. So I really like it. I also like that it's really pretty to look at and I can sublimate just about any kind of tumbler or mug in here with the use of the shrink wrap and the uh, the oven itself. So very, very cool addition to my craft room. I'm having a lot of fun with it. And like I said, I don't mind looking at it. I've had two other toaster ovens. Both of them work perfectly fine. I've shown them in other videos and they are in the description below the video. I'll try to remember to link those as well. I have a uh, less expensive alternative and then one that's a little more pricey and the, of course, the JP Trans sublimation oven. So We've got about two more minutes left. I'll be right back. There we are. We're almost done. Let's take a look. So five minutes in the sublimation oven. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can start to see that design coming through. That's the sign of a good transfer. Now, what's the purpose of the thread? I should mention I used polyester thread that withstands high heat. So watch this. I can just simply pull this and voila my shrink wrap is very easy to remove now this is still this is really hot so you want to be careful make sure you've got those gloves on i'm going to set this down let it cool just a second before i take that outer wrap or that inner wrap off okay we've given it a second to cool off now i can think i can hold it a little bit better so now we need to remove our image And again, this is a gas while it's hot. So you want to get that image removed without disturbing it. You don't want to be twisting it and moving the paper. It could distort your image and cause some ghosting. All right, here we go. Yay! It turned out so cute. Can you see it? Let's use the tape on my fingers. So here's our finished tumbler. How cute is this? You can see it's two-sided. It turned out so cute. This would make the perfect gift for Mother's Day. It would make great to send with the kids on a field trip to school for picnics. I can think of so many ideas for this. It does have the lid kind of screws into place so that it is drip proof and it seals up really nicely so that you don't have to worry about things getting or dripping if you throw this into your backpack or your bag. Super, super cute. 
Again, I use the Sawgrass SG500. I love how black the blacks are, how vibrant the colors are. Everything just works with the Sawgrass because it is created for sublimation ink and it uh, has the color profiles in that created studio. That makes your colors come out just perfectly every time. I also love this JTrans sublimation oven. This makes sublimating odd shaped things or tall things very, very easy. You can do multiples at once. You can do one at a time. You can do anything that will fit inside of here. And that is pretty much unlimited when it comes to tumblers. Most of your tumblers are going to fit in here with no problem. There's also no fiddling around trying to make sure that your temperatures are correct. This wasn't made for a kitchen. This was made for sublimating. So I highly recommend this oven if you're going to get into sublimation, um, if you're going to be making a lot of sublimation gifts, this is a great addition to your craft room. So as always, thanks so much for watching. Oh, I almost forgot. One of you that leaves a comment in the description below are going to get this tumbler. I will send this to you as a thank you for subscribing to my channel and for being here and listening to the video. So as always, never stop making. See ya. Bye-bye. Again, if you'd like to enter to win the tumbler that I made in the video, please leave a comment below and you will be entered to win. Thanks so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click that bell so that you're notified every time there's a new video.